Okay, hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Um, it's going to be probably quite a while until you see this video because I don't have internet, internet right now, but um, I'm still like filming stuff for you guys and still like around. But also during this time, I'm on Accutane, so if my skin looks horribly dry and disgusting and flaky, it is. So that's what's going on with that. Um, so I did not unbox my July unboxings, but I did unbox August. So it's August, and I haven't been filming separate empties so I think all of my empties right now which is what I'm filming are f since April so I think it's April June July and August and the, August isn't even like finished yet but my bin cannot possibly hold any more things like it's overflowing and I just need to go ahead and, and film it, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to take out some of these, like, things that are on top. Um, I buy my makeup wipes in bulk at Sam's Club in the big box, and you get five of them in the box. And I have used four of them, so this is like, um four months worth of makeup wipes or um, maybe more because I go through a lot of makeup wipes so here's four of these these are my favorite makeup wipes of course I like trying other makeup wipes so if anybody has any suggestions go for it but those are the ones that I always end up going back to um, because they're the best and then the other biggest item that's in here is um I used up one of my spa life um creepy gold mask things is like one of those weird gelatin gold masks um it was actually funny um well maybe this is since May actually because I used this um on May 25th uh, I had a date that night with my current boyfriend. It was our first date, and um, I wanted to look my absolute best because I liked him for a really long time. Oh, wait, no, yeah, it's been since April because May comes after that. Duh. <laughs> okay, I was thinking, I'm really tired today, so I've been cleaning my house and, like, doing all kinds of stuff, and I had some plans that fell through. So, yeah. But anyway, um, so yeah, um, yeah, it was our first day and, like, I wanted to look awesome and I don't really know if I looked awesome or not. I did have it in the refrigerator. Um, I felt like it made my skin really smooth, though. Um, and I didn't pay, like, a million dollars for it. It was only six dollars, so, um... But I have another one, so, yeah. Okay, so anyway, the next thing, uh, this fell out when I was trying to show you guys the thing was these Kiss Couture Mink Lashes. I was going to wear them that same night, actually, but I was like, I don't want to look extremely fake because, I mean, I see him every day. Like, I pretty much see him, saw him every day because we worked together. And I didn't want to go on this day and, like, just look like a total fake. I don't know. But um, I ended up wearing them for something else. Um, I think I just wore them for, like, whatever. But um, these were beautiful lashes, and I still have them because um, they don't totally fall apart, and you can wear them for more reusable up to 10 times. I thought for for some reason it was like five, but reusable up to 10 times. And they're gorgeous lashes. And um, 
I would definitely repurchase them because they were super comfortable too. Um, and then this stupid thing, I used up my last thing of cotton rounds and I'm so broke. Um, I need makeup wipes and cotton rounds. So, there's that. Um, I used up all of my cotton, not cotton, contact solution. This is my favorite. Um, it's the most comfortable for my eyes. I've been using that since I started wearing contacts and a lot of the other stuff makes my eyes really itchy so I just always buy that. And then I also used up the Honeycrisp Apple scent and this was a deep cleansing hand soap and it smelled really nice and I like those because they feel nice and scrubby and I feel like I'm getting my hands nice and clean. So I bought that last year. It was on sale whenever they were um, doing the soap stuff. And I got all my Halloween stuff, so I got that one too. So I have, let me pull out all the makeup actual things that I have in here. Because there's actually quite a few makeup things. Um... Okay, first of all, I did not like this. This was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, foundation, and uh, it oxidized. I thought, I felt like, and it made my skin really oily, and it's not full coverage, and it claims to be full coverage. And it is not. And I don't like it. It's very sheer. And I complained. I didn't like it. Um, I got this in Ipsy. I mean, I like Makeup Forever, but I just did not like this. And it wasn't really my shade either. And um, I'm pale, so that's hard to do anyway. So there's that. I wouldn't purchase the full size. I'd rather purchase another thing. Um, here is the True Match Lumi. Um, I used it and I didn't like it. Or, okay, I used it and I liked it and then I used it and I didn't like it and then I used it and I was okay with it. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but I don't think I would repurchase it. It was weird. I have no idea. Um, so there's that. And it wasn't really my shade either. It's really hard to find my shade. Um, I used the little sample I got. This was like my birthday present from Sephora. This is the Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner. Probably the Velvet Noir um, eyeliner and it was really pretty and I liked it okay I mostly wore it to like work and stuff and I used two um, of the Maybelline Fit Me uh, concealers because it's one of my favorite concealers and I, I love it and it, it does a really super duper good job of matching my skin tone I used up the um, NYX concealer in Fair Claire. I always say that because it's the other language is Claire and it rhymes with Fair. Anyway, this is the actual lightest concealer in the range and everybody always thinks that porcelain is but I found out that this is actually the lighter shade. Um, and then I tried out the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus foundation and this is the lightest shade and it matches me so well and I absolutely adore this foundation. I, I love it. It's only five dollars and I don't have any problems with it. Um, it's just a really gorgeous foundation and they like really stepped up their game with this because I remember I tried a foundation by them like I don't remember how long ago and it was the worst foundation. Anyway, so there's a big item right here that I have, which also has a used match in it. Classy. 
Um, this is the Blue Hydrangea Scented Candle by Sprig. These candles are pretty expensive. I got this candle at Ross for $3.49 on clearance. And I absolutely loved this fragrance. And anytime I would light it around like certain company or something, they'd be like, oh, what is that stench? And I'm like, how can you not love this fragrance? It, oh my God, I love it. Like it's just a really nice clean scent. It smells like fresh, clean laundry. And I don't understand why. It's not, okay, don't get it. Don't think I'm talking about that weird air freshener that's always in public bathrooms because it's not what it smells like at all. It it smells so good. I don't know why anybody would dislike this. So if you ever find this somewhere, smell it. You'll either love it or you'll hate it. There's like no in between. But it's so good and I love it. Love it. And I'll probably never find it again. Um, I used my favorite deodorant. I used it all up and I always use the cucumber melon because it's not like overbearing and it doesn't clash with my D, uh, with my um, perfumes if I am wearing one and it lasts all day. I don't get stinky. Yay. This is the brand that I used to use for my contacts. I use them all up. Apparently I'm getting a new brand this time, which I don't have the money to pick them up right now because they just came in and um, yeah, they were all right. I kind of felt like I was always getting poked in the eye with the new ones with the toric lens. Hopefully my new ones aren't like that. Um, I used this up. The Body Shop, this is really dirty and gross. Um, what is this? Coconut Body Scrub or something? I don't remember exactly. It was okay, I don't think I would repurchase it. Cause after you, like, it smells good in the container, but when you're using it, it smells like Play-Doh, which I don't want to smell like that. So, I think I'm just going to not purchase this again. Um, yeah. I'll probably purchase one of their other body scrubs. Because I don't want to smell like Play-Doh. But, I felt soft afterwards. I just smelled like Play-Doh. Okay, I lost... I'm really bad at losing the caps to things. Because, okay. I made a huge deal, I think, in one of my videos about Murad. I hated their acne products. They made my acne worse. I am dealing with my acne stuff now. I'm hoping the Accutane is working. I do feel a lot clearer. I'm dry as hell though. Um, the only Murad product that I did like was the Skin Perfecting Lotion, which I used all of. It smelled like a freshly cracked coconut. Oh, it smells so good. Still smells fresh. But, um... Everybody complained about this. This is the one thing anybody ever complained about, and it was the only thing I liked. So, everybody's different. Apparently, it worked for everyone else but me, the acne stuff. Um, and then there was this Organic Surge Daily Care Perfecting Face Polish. And it had like, um, I don't remember. I want to say I had olive stone thingies in it, but this was nice. Okay, it's not like for a face wash. You do it after you wash your face, and then it just like really softens your skin, and you feel really like pretty and like clean and exfoliated. But um, I don't know. I don't know if I would like go out of my way and and whoa. Okay, so there's a tiny bit still in the tube that I accidentally just pushed out. Whoops. Okay. So I didn't use that much of it. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, this was a very good product. Um, and I would recommend it. Um, if you're into that kind of thing. It was kind of pokey. But, um, yeah, like I said... I don't know that I would really like do that again. Um, this is another product that I used right before my date. I used one of my little 
Glam Glow to get rid of my under eye bags. And um, I felt like my eyes were sexy and stuff. Okay, you know. But yeah, I, I actually really like these. It's like really invigorating for some reason. Even though you just put them under your eyes for like three minutes. Um, I used up this little like Germex dude. Um, it was moisturizing with vitamin E as well. But yeah, I just kept this in my purse. Not really much I can say about that. This was the... Ew, look how gross that is. It's been sitting in here for so long. This was the Pink Sands Yankee Candle Scent. Um, this was really pretty. And, um, pretty scented is what I mean. Just smelled really, like, nice. Okay, and this is the uh, Complexion Boosting Air Repair Moisturizer. I really like this. Um, I don't know what it was, but, like, my skin just really liked it like it sunk right in and I just like I felt like I looked a lot better after using this so I don't know I really liked it um I would probably consider buying it if it wasn't like hugely expensive but I haven't looked it up or anything this I killed whenever I had my um fake nails on. I was trying to like shorten them because they were like really long and I was like I'm not doing that. So yeah and it's got like Santa Claus and his friends on it. It's from Avon. This was from Peter Thomas Roth. It's the water drench hyaluronic acid. Whoa! What is with all this? It just exploded cloud cream I really like this too like some of these samples that I've gotten in um, my Sephora play which is where this came from this was like super nice because my skin has been so dry lately and um, I would just like put it all over my face and it would just sink right in and my skin was like yes I love this so that was a really good product, especially to use if you're maybe, if you have it around and you're on Accutane, try it and your skin might love it. Right now, I don't know what I'm using. I don't remember what it is. It's like belief or something and it's like this jelly water stuff and my skin is like loving that too. So, um, these two things my skin really liked and the belief stuff my skin really likes too. So, um, and my doctor was like, make sure you have a lot of moisturizer. And I'm like, <laughs> I do. <laughs> and he's like, okay, just warning you. And I'm like, <laughs> you haven't seen my beauty arsenal yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so that was all of my stuff that I have collected through the past few months. Um, it doesn't really seem like a lot because like, being on Accutane can kind of bum you out, so you don't really feel like putting on a lot of makeup. Um, so you're not really using a lot of stuff other than like moisturizers and like, I don't know, masks or like, what have you. So, and there's a lot of like big things I'm working on too, like big jars of moisturizers and big squirt bottles of stuff I don't know so I don't know um but I hope you enjoyed my giant empties video and I'm gonna be really happy to throw all this stuff in the trash and start recollecting my empties um you know starting over and whatnot so anyway me and Luna are going to finish lazing around before we have to work in the morning. Well, you know, she gets to sit around, but I don't, so. Anyway, I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you as soon as I can.